So now that I've shared the mental and ways to go about handling the first date, now it's time to look at how to plan a great first date. And keep it simple. That's why this lecture is short. I'll tell you exactly what I did with my wife, and it worked really good. Plan something very simple. Lunch. Lunch or breakfast. Either of these are nearly always ideal because you want something quick, simple, and related to something you always can have in common with someone else. Now let's look at things we all have in common. Eating. That's something we all have in common. Every one of us eats. And you might say, well, it's so played out, or oh, I've been on so many dates that we went out to dinner, or lunch, or breakfast, whatever. That's good. You want to start simple, and eating is simple. Eating is one of those fundamental things. If you're going to like someone, then love someone, then have a family and a great life for them, or whatever you're going to do, you want to start simple and eating. You're going to likely eat with that person a lot of times. So try eating with them to start. There's no point in trying to make a grand first date, like where you go out and do all these magical things. You just want something simple that you're liable to do with that person every day, eating, breakfast or lunch. And I'm saying not dinner for most first dates because dinner causes a lot of problems. Dinner's the end of the day. Dinner starts leading to things like, are we going to go home together? Are we going to have a bunch of drinks together? What do you have to do after this? Breakfast and lunch are ideal. My wife and I did lunch because there was a clear expectation that we were just going to eat lunch together and that's it. Because you want to just get an impression and then separate. You want to go back to your regular life and then have another opportunity to plan another date. So definitely the first date should be breakfast or lunch or some kind of meal snack around that time of the day. And this is an opportunity for you to see how willing you are to go out with someone else. So make it an opportunity to get to know each other. And if you can't even plan, if you can't even figure out a place to go on a first date for breakfast or lunch, you probably don't want to go out. If it's that hard, you should probably just skip it because here's how easy it should be. Ask them out, would you like to go out to breakfast or lunch this weekend? Weekends tend to be ideal and then at that point, they should give you an opening somewhere. Yes, I can do breakfast Saturday. Yes, I can do lunch on Saturday. That's what my wife did. She said, yes, I can do lunch on Saturday. So we did lunch on Saturday. That simple, lunch or breakfast. I recommend lunch though, because people have a lot of routines getting started in the morning. And lunch is the ideal meal to do. Right around anywhere from 10 a.m. if you eat lunch really early to three or four if you eat lunch really late. But lunch. And just lunch, nothing else. No bowling afterwards, no let's go back to my place, just lunch. And I'm saying that for older, young, gay or straight, any part of the world. Just something simple, lunch. Don't try and make it any more than that. Just plan out lunch because what you want to do is have consistency over time. You want to get to know someone over time. So if they're having a good day or a bad day, well, you want to just see how they are on one date and then maybe try again. You want an honest impression of someone and an hour at lunch is pretty easy to do. Something you might do with your friends. So just a quick lunch date. Plan out a quick, simple lunch date. Nothing more and nothing less. Don't just do drinks or snacks. That's lame. Just do lunch. A full lunch meal together to get a good first impression of each other and then you can go from there.